Hello and welcome to this instructional Anaplan video brought to you by BI. Today we're going to talk about filters in Anaplan. We're also going to review a special case of filtering, the so-called current user filter. Filters in Anaplan enable you to limit the view of your data, thus making your models and your user experience a bit more clear to understand. Filters work based on rules that you can specify, and each filter can contain multiple rules. Different data types may have different filter operators available. For example, the text line items can have the contains filter operator. Now let's try and build a simple filter in Anaplan. In this dashboard, we have a module showing data for specific machine types. We have two dimensions, the machine types list here, and the time dimension. In our model, the current month is March, therefore all the months from March to December contain forecast data, whereas January and February contain actual data. Say we would like to review only our actual data. We can do so by applying a filter on our time dimension. In order to do so, we need a filtering line item. I've created such in our allocations top-down bottom-up module. This line item is called actuals filter. It is a boolean line item and it has only the time dimension. This is why we can see it in a subsidiary view. The formula of this line item says that we would like all of these months, which are less than the current period start, these are January and February, we would like them to be true and all the other months to be false, which means that January and February would be the months containing the actual data. In order to apply the filter, we can do so by going to the top left corner of this module, going to data, and then filter. You can see that you can filter by machines, which is one of our dimensions, by the time dimension and by line items. In this case, we need the time dimension. In order to add a new rule, you have to click here on this plus sign. When adding a new rule, you need to specify several things. The first, by clicking here, is the module and the line item by which we are going to be filtering. In this case, this line item called actuals filter is in the same module, but you can set it in any other module. We can see that for Boolean line items, we have two operators, is equal to and is not equal to. And then this tick box signifies true or false in this case. If we'd like to see the actual data, we're going to want to set this tick box to true. And by pressing OK, we can see only January and February. If we would like to see the rest of the months, we can again go to data and filter, we go back to the time dimension, and then we can deselect this tick box, which means that we are going to want our boolean to be equal to false. If we press OK, we can now see the rest of the months. As you can remember, our line item shows only January and February as true, and the rest of the months as false. This was a very simple filter in Anaplan. Now let's try and see something a bit more complex. Let's talk about the current user filter in Anaplan. This is a special type of filter that depends on the users list. In Anaplan, you have the users list by default, and in order to use that type of filtration, you should add that list as a module dimension. This type of filtration could be used to display data that is relevant only to a specific user, thus making a dashboard much more clear and manageable for your users. If any selections are to be made by your users, those by one user are not going to impact the selections made by another user. Now let's try to build a simple user filter in Anaplan. Let's use the same module for our example. As you can see in this module we have eight machine types and data for each of them. Say some users would like to see only some types of machines and other users would like to see the other types of machines. We can do so by applying the current user filter. In my module, I have created a line item named show my machines, 
It is a Boolean line item and it has two dimensions, the machine types list and the users list. Again, because we don't have the time dimension, we can see this line item as a subsidiary view. You can see that this user can see only machine type B and machine type D, and this user can see machine type A, C and E. Now let's try and make a filter. We go to the same dashboard and the same module. We're going to click here again, data and filter. We would like to filter the machines list this time. We are going to add a new rule and then we're going to select this line item, show my machines. We can see here that the filter is going to be applied for the current user only. As said before, Boolean line items have two operators, is equal to and is not equal to. In our case, we would like this line item to show us only these machine types for which it is true. When we press OK, we can only see machine types A, C and E. As you can see, for that user, we have only machine types A, C and E selected. If we'd like to see machine types G and H, for example, we can select them here. We go back to the dashboard and after we refresh it, we can see that we have the additional machines visible. By applying the current user filter, you can tailor your model to your specific users and make the user experience much better for them. This concludes our video and I hope that you have learned how to apply Anaplan filters by yourself. For more information on filters, you can visit Anaplan's Anapedia. Thank you very much for your attention and I wish you a great day. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to give thumbs up and subscribe to our channel.